the youngest world number one of all time, backed by the attacking genius of Roger Federer, the fighting spirit of Rafael Nadal, and the overwhelming completeness of Novak Djokovic. But there's one thing that Carlos does completely differently from his predecessors. The fact is, no men's singles world number one has used a racket as light as Carlos Alcaraz. It's been reported that Carlitos uses the exact racket he endorses, the Bablat Pure Arrow 98. And that's weird. So Rafa uses a racket that's like 20 years old with significant modifications to the weight and balance. Djokovic uses a racket that's never even been publicly for sale ever. And Federer's RF97 doesn't even really seem to be the one that you can actually buy in this store. But every account suggests that Carlos simply uses a stock Babolat Pure Aero 98 strung with RPM Blast 16. This means that his strung specs are around 330 grams with a balance of 32 and a half centimeters and a swing weight of around 328. So with Rafa, Djokovic, and Federer each using rackets that are at least 10 grams heavier than Carlos and 10 swing weight points higher, how does Carlos keep winning? Well, let's look at the keys to Alcaraz's game. Huge power and spin driven by the game's fastest swing speeds, especially off that forehand wing, potentially the best drop shot we've ever seen, backed by masterful disguise. Ooh, yeah, look out for those today as well. Elite physicality with the ability to turn points around on a dime. And for all of these things, a lighter racket setup is key. Another huge key to Carlos's success is brought to you by our sponsor, Direct Tennis. Direct Tennis is one of my favorite tennis apps of all time. It helps link you, the player, with stringers in your area if you're looking for someone local, someone you can trust. The stringers on this app by large are very knowledgeable and very experienced and they're going to help you get the most out of your game. There are a lot of exciting new features coming to the Direct Tennis app, so download it now so you're ready for that next update to drop. Links are in the description and if you want to support Tencom, you can do us a favor and check those links out. So the number one driver behind power, ball speed, and spin is racket head speed. So a lighter racket really helps Carlos swing faster than anyone else in the game. So why aren't other players using lighter rackets? Well, for one, many of the younger pros actually are using lighter rackets, but there are two big advantages to using something heavier. The first is power. So if you're not swinging quite as fast, you can claw back some of that extra power by using a heavier racket. This is one of the reasons that Djokovic's power in depth looks so effortless. He just doesn't have to swing out of his shoes on every ball because his racket is almost 360 grams, which is a whopping 30 more than Carlos's. The other benefit to weight is stability. The heavier racket is, the more inertia it carries and the less it will twist and deform on contact. So if Djokovic needs all of that weight to get stability and power out of his racket, how does Carlos get away with something so light? Especially since racket technology really hasn't changed that much in the past 20 years. But what has changed is the way that brands are able to implement this technology based on consumer preferences. Today, companies are catering rackets to players who've learned playing with graphite rackets and polyester strings. This means that players are demanding more powerful and more stable rackets at the expense of the feel and control that was demanded by older players who learned on wood or composite frames. And since the Pure Aero 98 is such an approachable spec for even us mortals, it means that it's really easy to see yourself using that racket too. In fact, I think it's the racket that I would personally choose if all I cared about was winning points in a match. So let's see how it plays on court. Okay, so Bablat Pure Arrow 98. I'm playing against the shit talkingest 14 year old kid I've ever met in my life. Power and stability is really oh. something that stands out when you play with the Pure Arrow 98. That went over, I'm Carlos Alcaraz. You get such a consistent response from this racket. There is just so much power and spin from all areas of the string bed, and it just doesn't feel like it matters if you're out of position. There's just so much stability. Off-center balls feel like they don't exist with this racket. Oh. Oh. 
like me Drop a couple bands on the crypto fans Know my shit go I ain't gotta tell them what it is Tell them I'm a grown ass man So you'll never fool me The racket is so stable through contact That it really encourages you to just slam every single ball <sighs> Okay, so just on these couple of points, look at how much height over the net I'm getting. And you can see by my stroke, I'm not just looping the ball over. I'm really driving through it, but it's coming through the court with so much spin that I can clear the net with like a meter of room and it still dives back down well behind the baseline. I feel like this is the heaviest ball that I've hit with any racket you can buy today. But it's more than just stability that you need to pull these kinds of shots off. One of my favorite things is how much consistency you get out of this 16 by 20 string bed. With a lot of other rackets, like the Head Extreme Tour, the Radical Ampere, the ESO 98, you get more density in the middle of the string bed and a little bit more open spacing towards the edges of the frame. This is to help account for the drop off in playability outside the oh. sweet spot. But since the Aero 98 has such a minor drop off in playability outside the sweet spot, the spacing remains remarkably consistent throughout the string bed. Oh. You probably can't hear from the mic, but he demanded I put that shot on camera. As fun as it is to blast meme shots all day, there is one area where the controlled power and stability really helps us rec players win. It's returns where this racket shines. Hell no. All I do is lose in real life. And with that, the positive portion of this review comes to a close. Like with most Pavlets, I just wish it was more connected. The feel with the Pure Aero 98 is really muted and overall it feels like a very stiff racket. The dwell time is very short so the ball comes in and out of the string bed very quickly and I just personally don't love that feeling. It wasn't obvious by my shirt, I got Toroline Caviar in this one. I like the playability of Silver 7 Tour better, but it hurt my arm. Caviar has a lot more comfort, which I like. So Bablack quotes an unstrung RA of about 71, which is pretty high, and this is critical to the racket's stability, but oh, detrimental no. to its comfort. That's the reason the racket is so muted feeling. It's to mask those harmful vibrations that cause arm pain. My wrists were just not happy when I strung this racket with crisper, stiffer strings like Torna Silver 7 Tour or Slinko Tour Bite, even though I did prefer the more connected feel that those strings provided. Thankfully, hybriding is a very viable option for this rack. I personally tried the setup with Diadem Solstice Power and Evolution in the crosses, and the spin was still excellent even though you're getting that softer cross string. Yeah, this is the Carlos Alcaraz racket you've all come to know and love. So let me know if you want to see any specific comparison to other rackets in the comments. And if you want to support the creation of future tennis videos just like this one, we've got PayPal donation links, super thanks, and YouTube membership page where you get access to one additional video per month. So thanks so much for watching and